Hi everyone, a few people have asked how to apply for the PMP exam and what's required, what we need to do. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to apply for the PMP exam. And the first thing we do is go over to PMI's website at pmi.org and you'll need to create a PMI account. So you go to login or register. If you haven't done it before, we'll usually register our details. And that gives us a form just to fill out our first name, last name, the country that we're in, the email that we prefer, and a password for our account. And once you've filled out all those details, you just select register now. And now that you're registered on PMI.org, you can go to certifications and let's go down to the project management professional under certifications. Under that PMP, you'll have a section called apply now for your PMP. So we're just going to go ahead and click on that one and that will start the process of applying for your PMP. Now, the first thing we need to do is put in our education because the PMP uh, requirements will differ if we've got a four year or a bachelor's degree versus just a high school diploma or an associate's degree. So that first thing we're going to do is input our academic education and it doesn't matter which one you have it will just change the requirements for your project management experience next as part of your application you will need to put in the 35 contact hours of project management education that you've obtained now you can do this in many different ways a lot of people do it on Udemy I have a Udemy course of course and once we've done that then we need to fill out our experience now remember for the project management professional or PMP we need at least 36 months if we've got a four year degree, we need 36 months of non overlapping project management education. So that means if we've got a few different uh, items here, it will only count for this total time. It's not cumulative, so we can't put them all together. If you don't have a four year degree or a bachelor's degree, you'll need 60 months of project management education, but that's five years in the last eight years. Many of you will have that already. And what you need to do then is put the titles of your project so the details of the projects that you're counting with a project title the organization that you worked for your job title now remember this doesn't have to be a project manager's job title but you do have to be doing the work of a project manager and a project manager is delivering change so delivering business value and a project is temporary it's not operations or an ongoing a business as usual the other information we'll input here is our reporting area the organization primary focus, the approach or methodology that we used, so that might be agile or waterfall, the project team size, and the project budget that we had. Then we're going to need the project dates, and this is where the overlapping things come into play. You just need to be aware of it, but put in your project month start uh, and year start and month finish and year finish, or whether it's currently in progress, and Project Management Institute will actually figure out the total time that you have. Now in your project description, make sure you put that you were in a project management role or delivering value or leading a change. Put your responsibilities during each phase, so initiating, planning, executing, monitoring and controlling and closing. And use project management body of knowledge language, so the tools that we're using, the phases and the knowledge management areas, so schedule, cost, uh, scope risk, procurement, all of those things. What did you do when you were leading that project? And advise the outcome of the project and what you delivered, usually the value that you delivered. Now, once you've put all of those items in and you have enough of that project management experience, you can start looking at the exam details. You put in your exam location and citizenship information, the name on your certificate, and you want that to closely match your identification so that they can check that you're the right person who's doing the exam. You can ask for special arrangements if you need medication or other special arrangements during the exam. And once you agree to the terms and conditions and make sure that you say all the information is accurate and complete, then you'll receive a link to pay for the exam. Now you can pay for it in two ways. Currently it's $655 in total, but if you're a Project Management Institute member, it's $405. So it depends which way you want to go, whether you see the value in that. And once the payment's been processed, you'll receive that link to book the exam date. They'll just give you a calendar and you click on the date and click on the time and you can book your exam. In your PMI dashboard, you can then reschedule the exam if you absolutely have to. And that's a brief overview on how to apply for your PMP exam. 